Nicholas the Dude, the next to hit. The second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. And there's a ball. Two outs, base is empty. That misses, and that's ball two. This patient approach he's showing is part of why he's been so hot lately. He's forcing pitchers to come to areas where he can do damage. There's a strike. This one to third. Tosses to first. Play made. That ends the inning. End of one, and we're still scoreless. Three. Man on at first. Digging that, in, that, Jose Rodriguez. The short Jose Rodriguez. Rodriguez. We got this guy. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball could be two. And it gets by. Batting it. The first baseman, number 27. That one fouled off. The Shuckers with plenty of ground to make up here in the back end of the third inning. That one is absolutely pummeled. Get up, get up. One runs in. It's off the wall. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 6-2. And that's a double. That one was served in a punch bowl right down the middle, and he regretted it as soon as it left his hand. Next is the switch hitting first baseman. 0 for 1, struck out swinging last time. Hot shot to first. He makes the catch. That's the inning. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on base. End of three. The Barons on top here, six to three. The center field now digs in now. The center field. Chapelli leading off first with two away. Up the middle. The dude. There with plenty of time. Inning over, so no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Barons out front, eight to five. Hey, 
Lady Gaw for Biloxi. The dude measures 5 feet 7 inches, only 18 years old, and he's been red hot at the plate lately. Five home runs in his last 10 games. Right through there for a strike. Well, he got a very hittable pitch early in the at bat and didn't offer. He might come to regret that. Here comes the 0-1. Dives, but it takes off the glove. Base hit and a runner on now. And he's clearly locked in after yet another hit. Really seeing the ball well lately. He's a threat every time he steps into the box. Now up, the first baseman, number 53. Pickoff throw, the dude, back in on a dive. And the slider just misses. The Shuckers trailing by three, bottom half of the fifth. He swings and fouls one off. Right here, one time. One one pitch now. Oh. That one misses low. Label on a line to center. Calls it in for the out. And he was all over that heater. A grade or two lower on the ball, and it's still flying. He's got to jog around the bases. Next up, the left fielder, number two. Downstairs. With his speed, it'll be really tough for the defense to turn to. And at this level, they may even rush the play and make an error. That's what makes him a weapon in spots like this. Here's the 1-0 offering. Inside, that was very close. Go over to first. The dude back on a dive. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Runner on the move. This one's low. Safe and second, not even close. Let's see if he gives him anything to swing at here. There's ball full. The catcher, number eight. And here's the catcher, Matthew Wood. One for two. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Fires to second. And that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they get out of this jam. Back here at the ball, ball. For the bottom of the seventh. Here's the, the second, second baseman, baseman Nicholas, Nicholas the Dude. The Dude. Hey, no one better. Let's go, kid. And the pitch. Foul ball there. Next offering way off the plate.
line drive, and it's caught. That's so frustrating for the now hitter. Down. Tough to accept Not a liner three. like that not turning into a hit. All set for the start of this inning, and now Eddie Park. The designated hitter. Number 19. Meeker measures six foot four. He works with a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Grounder to second. The dude. Over to first. And that's one away. The leadoff hitter retired in the eighth. Left field, Carlos Jimenez. Three, two, three. Nobody on with one out. Now at the dish, Nicholas Second the dude. Man. Nicholas the dude. Grounds it to short. Slings to first. Yep, two down. up, two down. Now bad the first base baseman, Xavier. Three, three, zero. The dude made big contributions in the loss. Drove in three runs. Every time up, he was a threat, and he gave them a shot at the win. Impressive showing for sure. Fans are final line scorer. First for the victorious Barrett. 10 runs, 12 hits. One error, they let 12 runners on base. For the Shuckers, seven runs on 13 hits. One error, they let 14 runners on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please Drive home, home. safety. Ow. Three, three. Ball four, thank you. Nicholas the Dude getting ready to That's hit. Third. The second baseman, Nicholas yeah, let's go, kid. the Dude. Go. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Hey, come on now. Right here. There's a strike at 95. This one is labeled. It one hops off the wall. Might be trouble. Coming around third. Relay, throw home, out at the plate. On that play, they had to do everything perfectly to get him out at the plate. Long throw in from the outfield, and then a relay home to get him going from first all the way around. That's great team defense. Baseman. Good eye on that pitch. Nice job to get into scoring position with two out, and now he could come in on a base hit. I'm sure the cleanup hitter is thinking about how he can do just that. Runner at second with two down. Runner takes off for third. Oh, there, safe.
and the count one and two. Runner at third, two away. Cranked out to right center, on the move. Squeezes it. They strand one, scoreless after one. Runner at first with one gone. At the plate, the left fielder, number 45. He managed. Grounder might be two. One at second. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. That's a hard, but he will slide into second base we just saw. That did enough to force an inaccurate throw and disrupt the double play. And that one fouled off. That misses. And the count even one and one. One pitch fouled away. One two offering. And another ball. Fly ball left field. Makes the grab one away. Just a shade too early with the swing, and the mechanics might have broken him down a bit. He needs to try to put that up the middle instead of yanking it to the pull side. Four, four, take the race. Three, three, three. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Burnley. Number 92, Bailey. Four. The batter, number four. Second baseman, Nicholas. Not good. All right, one time, one time. A frozen rope. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Two runners left aboard. They're trailing here, 3 0. And now the DH, now back, back. Eddie Park. Number 19. Laboring here, about to throw pitch number 30 this in. Ground ball, right side. The dude whips it to first. That ends the inning and prevents things from getting out of hand. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Last half of the fifth coming up, the Barons. Out front here, four to nothing.
So digging in, Nicholas the Dude, the second base. one for three. Nicholas the Dude. Swing and a line drive base hit out into center. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. And he's clearly yeah, yeah, yeah. locked in after the yet another base. hit. Really yeah, yeah. seeing the ball well lately. He's a threat every time he steps into the box. The first baseman will hit next. That one clips the outside corner. 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Meanwhile, some activity in the bullpen. Jimmy Lambert up and loosening in the pen. Oh, and two. Here's the pitch. And Earl Hendricks says no swing. The Shuckers with a chance to get back in it. You're in the bottom of the seventh, just past the stretch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Rounds third, headed for the plate. One run comes across. Another scores. Two runs come in on the play, and they've cut it to a two-run deficit. Fell behind in the count with two strikes, but didn't panic and picked up the hit. That one might as well have been placed on a tee right down the middle, a hitter's dream, a pitcher's nightmare. So up next, the Nicholas the, the Dude. Second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Barons ahead by five here in the bottom half of the eighth. Next pitch is outside. After those two pitches, it's clear he wants no piece of this batter. At the plate, he needs to stay patient and not chase something just to swing. It drops in, gets away a little bit. One run is in. Another run scores. It's a 7-4 ball game. Now he throws on the brakes and returns safely to first. That's smart hitting to use the count to your advantage like that. He knew the pitcher had to come into the zone, and he found a pitch to handle. On the mound now, Jimmy Lambert. He has not given up a lot of homers this year. Opposing lineups can't rely on the long ball to score runs against him. Lambert. And next, the cleanup hitter. Here we go, big guy. Wait for yours. That one, not close. If they're going to make something happen, now is the time. They need to cut this margin before the closer comes in. The dude leads off of first with two away. This is no. just off the outer half. I think that might have been a strike. Kicks and delivers. Runner on the go. There's a ball. Safe and second with a steal. Righty gives up the two out walk. Now got it. Catcher. Here's the catcher. Go. 
And that one gets by the catcher. And the runners will advance. Catches the outside corner. It's now one and one. And another ball. It's two and one now, and he's got to be wondering when that fastball's going to come. Might be on this next pitch. That's a little bit low. I feel like he was itching to swing at that one. He might be feeling a bit disappointed at not being challenged. The third baseman waits on deck. And the tying run's at the plate. And the tying run is aboard. The third baseman now at the plate. one finds the zone. Strike one. After walking the last hitter, he just reached back and fired that high fastball for a strike. That's a good way to reset after giving up the free pass. The 0-1. Swings and misses. He must have been sitting on something off speed. Bases loaded. Two down. Swing lifted to left field. That drops in no man's land. Foul ball. And again on 0-2. They try to get a chase on a slider down and away. Got him looking. He didn't like the call. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. Ninth inning coming up. The Barons with the lead, 7-4. Nice showing despite the loss. Had three hits and two runs batted in. Opposing pitchers will want to take note of how he performed in this one. If he puts together games like this frequently, he won't be at this level for long.
and welcome to the game, everybody. Glad you've joined us. Some double-A baseball from the Southern League on tap for you. And it's the Pensacola Blue Wahoos and the Biloxi Shuckers. Ow. Ball four, take the base. Three. Ow. Now it's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. He has simply been dominating pitchers at this level and looks to be a prime candidate for a promotion very soon. Close one, but doesn't get the call. Runner at second here and one away. That one in there, that's strike one. Two-run homer, 14th of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. To my eye, he looks really comfortable hitting recently. Seeing the ball well, looks confident, and he is punishing every mistake pitch he sees. That's easy power he's showing up there. Hammered that one up over the wall in the opposite gap, and that is rare territory. Not many hitters with the pop to do that. Great swing. We're back here at the ballpark. Leading off, the catcher. The 0 1 offering. And he hits a ground ball to the right side. Slings to first. One out in the second. Batting in. The shortstop. Joshua. Three. Four, four. Take the break. And he thrives on contact primarily. Some terrific hand-eye and bat-to-ball skills. In the modern game where strikeouts are so prevalent, that's got some extra value. But it's also important to make good contact and not just hit weak grounders. Here we go, kid. Here we go. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. That's a strike, but probably not a great one to swing at on the first pitch. Smart take, I think. That one finds the zone. That change up up in the zone is one he'd like to have back. He knows that's a meaty pitch to hit. A laser into the outfield. And a base hit. Now he throws on the brakes and returns safely to first. That's not exactly a textbook decision to swing there, but he made it work. High pitch on a two-strike count, and he did well to put good wood on it. Runner at first, and here's the first baseman. Switch hitter batting righty against the lefty on the mound. And that one fouled off. Nobody out, and a runner at first. Lead on that fastball. He must have been sitting on something off speed. And now one and two. On 0-2, raise the hitter's eye level with a high fastball. We might see something low on this next pitch. And a foul ball, so he stays alive. The dude on at first with nobody out. Snap throw to first. Back safely. One-two pitch. There goes the runner, and this one right back to the mound. Tosses to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. The batter, the catcher, Nick. The catcher will hit next. 
cracked a double the first time at bat. Pitch is in there. 0 and 1. No reason to jump at a strike from a pitcher who's struggling like this. Chances are you'll get another pitch to hit. Runner edging away at second base. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Runner takes off for third. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. On to first. That's out number two. So a wild pitch lets the runner move up. The bat, the designated hitter. Next up, the designated hitter. Double home run the first time at bat. Fly ball to right center. Long run. And that retires the side. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors. One left on base. We move on to inning number four. The Shuckers out front. Three to nothing. Dalvi Rosari getting ready to hit. Two outs, base is empty. Grounder to second. The dude. There with plenty of time. Inning over. Nothing across here this half. To the bottom of the fourth inning now. The Shuckers on top here. Three to nothing. Line drive, that's a base knock. One runs in. Now the second one crosses the plate. That ball was scorched, and he came through in a big way for them on that one. Games like this can really boost the perception of a prospect, and we'll see what it does for his profile. First baseman now at the plate. Swing and a miss. No ball. One strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Smoked into left for a base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Here comes the throw. And he's out. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. Three runs, four hits, no errors, one left aboard. On to the top of the fifth. The Shuckers on top, six to nothing. First, and now the now shortstop, Joshua Zamora. Joshua Zamora. second on his way to third. Coming home. Run comes across all the way from first to cut the lead. And it's 8-3. 
up against it with two strikes right there, but still managed to win the at-bat. That's such a disciplined swing, staying tall and getting the barrel to the high fastball. That might even have been above the zone, but still some good contact. Might be a chance for them to start working their way back into this thing. We're back here at the ball. Here's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. The pitch. That one misses. One and oh. Right through there for a strike. One ball, one strike. Swing and a ball crushed left field. That's pretty far back. Home run. A solo shot did it again. Home run number two of the game. It's 9-3. He was thinking he'd run the high heat right by him, but no such luck. He was all over that pitch for the homer. Three. Out. Out. Three. Out. You're out. to get the eighth inning going. And now the right fielder, Ryan Ignafa. The right fielder, number 18. Ain't nobody. The pitch. Bounce to the right. One up, one down. The captain, number one, Ben Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now pitching for Pensacola, number 59, Declan Frozen. Bottom of the eighth. Now it's the, the second baseman, right Nicholas the second the baseman. Nicholas the Dude. And the pitch. That one fouled off. Cronin, a 6'4 righty, he works with a four seam fastball, a changeup, a cutter, and he works in a two seamer. The 0 1. Left field getting pretty deep. If one hops off the wall, could be trouble. Around first and heading for second. That's a leadoff double. And he's clearly locked in after yet another hit. Really seeing the ball well lately. He's a threat every time he steps into the box. And next, the cleanup hitter. Takeoff move to second. And that's outside. And it's one and up. No outs and a runner on second. And now it's even up. Movement in the bullpen. Number 43 appears to be getting loose. And the 1-1. One -one. Hard ground ball. That's a base hit. Coming around third. Now a long throw home. Throw comes in too late, and a run scores.
right there we saw a fastball that was hyped, and he was licking his chops as that thing was coming in. Great cut. The left fielder digs in now. The left fielder, J.D. Thompson. The Blue Wahoos down to their last strike. Ground ball up the middle and handles this chance. That'll end the evening's action. The dude was fantastic in the win. Five hits, including a couple of homers. Always great to see a player as locked in as he was in this one. Every at bat felt like an opportunity to see him deliver. Here now our final line sheet. First was a victorious shutdown. Ten runs, 19 hits, one error, and...